Hello everybody, welcome back to this week's taste test and boy do we have quite the tasting for you this week because there are so many products. We are splitting this video officially into two and as you can see Benson's joining us. It's late in the day. Um, wow, this has just been a whirlwind of a week uh, with all the new products and this, the haul was long, so we're gonna jump right into this video though. We're trying all the savory foods first, and in the second video, which you'll see tomorrow, is gonna be all the sweets, all the new sweets that just arrived. So without further ado, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get into this week's fall flavors taste test. All right, so the first thing the boys are gonna try is the new artichoke pasta sauce. It's organic, it's shelf stable, and I'm bummed. It has animal in it, so I'm gonna pass on this one, but Tim and Benson are gonna let you guys know how it is. And I just cooked it with a vegetable ready toy pasta and a little parm on top. Cheers. <laughs> hmm, is that lemon? Uh, let's see, is there lemon in it? It tastes, more? it tastes very lemony to me. Um, um artichokes. Sunflower oil, onions, parm cheese, extra oil or extra virgin olive oil, salt, sugar, parsley, basil, potato flakes, lemon juice at the very end, black pepper. Lemon juice at the very end, but it seems like a very, very strong flavor in this. Like the dominant flavor in Definitely it. Definitely is. Um, but it's pretty good. I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> you taste artichoke or that's supposed to be the star of the show, so. A little bit, yeah. It smelled it's, like it's when good. I it's opened. Really good. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay. Um, when I opened the jar, I smelled artichoke right away. Like, that was the dominant flavor. Like, I'll, I'll let you smell it so you can smell for yourself. Oh, yeah, that smells a whole lot more like artichoke than it tastes like. <laughs> what do you think, Benson? That's um, good. I, I, I actually, why would he say, of the lemon, it kind of does. It does taste like <laughs> lemon to you? Kind of. All right. Would you Would you buy it again? Um. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. And what I liked about it too is it said that you can put this on like pizza as a pizza base. You can use it with mm. veggies too. Um, and I'm sure there's so many other things you can use this on as a spread. Maybe on a wrap, like a little Sammy wrap if you want, and just like spread on tortilla. I don't know, it's pretty versatile product. Um, I'm just bummed they used animal rennet, so it's yeah. all good. It's unfortunate, but it, it was good for all of the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try the butternut squash mac and cheese bites next, and this is what I've been looking forward to. Um, there is an air fryer instruction on the box, so it's quite simple to cook, and I'm so excited to try. I'm so ready. These do retain the heat, so be cautious, you guys. Um, Holy goodness, though. That is really good. But not as good as the mac and cheese in the box. Oh, you mean the actual, oh, yeah, yeah. The butternut squash mac. I had it for lunch today. <laughs> Nothing compares to that beauty. So I'm going to disagree with Tim. I'm not in love with these. I don't. Really? Yeah, I just think the breading is really oily. I taste a lot of oil. That's like my immediate flavor I'm tasting. I do taste some of that butternut, but butternut, but, um, it's not like the most desirable butternut flavor that I've had. Um, and again, I just, I love the box mac and cheese and I was expecting more of that type of flavor. And these, I don't I think hit the mark on that particular thing, but also even the original mac and cheese balls that Trader Joe's sells, I'm not a fan of because of how oily they taste. Um, I just wish they weren't as, I mean, I know they're fried, so don't get me wrong. I I'm, I'm, know that they're supposed to be oil, but it's just too much for me. So I'm gonna, I would skip them and definitely load up on the butternut squash mac and cheese, which I already have, but I need more. <laughs> you're, you're right on the fact that they're not as good as the boxed mac and cheese, mm -hmm. but they're better than the last mac and cheese bites that they had. That's yeah. just the original. Mm -hmm. This one is better. It is better. Now, I also remember when I first tried that original mac and cheese that it was, I thought it was better um, in the taste test. Then later on, I kind of got sick of it. And I think it is that oil too. Yeah. So yeah. take it for what it's worth. Um, you know, it's, it's good for the first time you try it, I think, at least for me. Um, but you might get tired of it quickly. Yeah, it's just our, our honest opinions right away. And like you see all the time, Tim and I don't always agree on everything, but that makes it 
better because then you get two opinions and Benson is the third. So what did you think, babe? I like it, but it's just too hot. Oh, it was just too hot. Well, that's something we can control, but you did like the flavor? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, next up we have one more hot item that is just gonna be Tim. And while he's taking a bite of the roasted turkey and sweet potato burrito, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour some milk because I'm thirsty and I'm gonna pour the new oats and seed non-dairy beverage. This is pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds in an oat milk beverage. All right, I'm probably gonna need that to wash this down because this feels hot. Yeah. So uh, before I burn my mouth off here, I'm go ahead and give <laughs> you guys a good taste. And Tim's gonna let you know if he um, recognizes if this was the same from last year or if this is a new burrito, totally new. So this is definitely a different burrito. It's got really big chunks of sweet potato, and um, there's I, I didn't get a whole lot of turkey in this, to be honest. Really? I haven't gotten a turkey chunk. Oh, here's one right here. Um, but it's all right. It's a little bit, uh, tastes like Thanksgiving in yeah. a burrito form. Uh, not as many cranberries. I think this one, like, I remember the last one that they had, had cranberries in mm -hmm. it. And I was, like, having to, like, kind of pick them out because I don't like cranberries in my burrito. I don't like the sweet and savory combination but the cranberry in this is very subtle because i think there is cranberry in it i think it's a sauce instead of like chunks it's a salsa it's a salsa mm -hmm. okay so that makes sense um yeah i mean i won't be buying this again i'll finish it tonight because i'm hungry but <laughs> um but it's just not for me if you like thanksgiving and you're one of those people that just can't get enough like thanksgiving foods go get yourself one of these and i'm sure you'll enjoy it well, what I find interesting is it's turkey and sweet potato, as in the title. So do you taste the sweet potato in there? 100%. More okay. than, it's big chunks of it. So that some people really like sweet potato, and it's good for you. So um, that's good to know. And is it dry, or how would you rate it on the scale of being, like, there's, not dry to dry? There's not, like, a sauce in it, so it's not wet very much, but it's uh, it's not dry either. Okay, that's So good. It's, it's like a good, a good burrito. Uh, con consistency. All right, and it's easy to cook too. I just microwaved it for two minutes, so easy peasy. All right, let's try this new oats and seeds non-dairy beverage and see how this tastes. I, I will say when I was pouring this, it looks a little green. Yeah, it does. I thought so <laughs> Which kind of threw me off, but you know, maybe it's just the pumpkin seeds. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I like it. It's not bad. It's not bad. It has kinda, a little bit of a chalky aftertaste. Yeah, it kind of tastes like sunflower seeds. I think mm -hmm. um, that's probably the one I taste the most, which I appreciate. I'm not a yeah. big fan of oat milk, so yeah. if we can get pumpkin or uh, sunflower seeds, then that's that's gonna be better. It's well, it is pumpkin milk. and sunflower, so um, I actually really like this. It has good flavor. It's creamy. It has a little bit of a texture to it. So when you when you swallow it, I have a little bit of like granules left on my tongue, and it's probably like the pulp from the pumpkin and sunflower seeds. Which is fine because um, it's not like sandy or anything. It's very mild grain that you can barely taste. Almost like flour that hasn't quite dissolved. So um, I really like this. I think it's a fantastic new product and it's easy to just drink on its own. But I could see how it would be good in coffee or cereal uh, if you wanted to pair it with those two things. So I really I, liked it. I really enjoyed it too. That's good. Yeah. What about you, Benson? Did you like it? Mm, that? Mm-hmm. Mm. Did you try it? Yeah, he drank it yeah. while you were eating. No, you didn't like it? Not so much. Not so much, okay. That's fair. All right, next up, we're gonna try the new sweet potato salad that's like the cold salad that Trader Joe's sells. And it has big chunks of sweet potato in it. I just tossed it with the dressing that it came with. And it has some spinach, I believe. I'm gonna try this now. Wow. This is definitely a holiday salad. It's like a Thanksgiving salad. It's like cinnamony. Yeah. I taste a lot of the cinnamon in this. But it's not bad. Oh, I like the spinach. Did you get a bite of spinach? Um, I think so. We okay, it's really good. If you can get a bite with the sweet potato, the noodles, and the spinach, you get a little crunch from that spinach and the flavor. The combo is really good. Sweet potato and just the noodle. It's a little too cinnamony for me, but if you can get a combo bite of everything, I say it's really, it's a lot of flavor. There's, flavor is not lacking in this one. <laughs> um, so if you like cinnamon and kind of like, it does have a vinaigrette 
aftertaste too. Vinaigrette, yeah. That's Vinaigrette. What I was, that's the exact word I was thinking. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know. I think uh, I liked it actually. Surprisingly, it's kind of a weird one. It's right. definitely a weird one. I was I was saved by the pasta being being a pasta salad because it does have a lot of flavor. It is very uh, Thanksgiving like. Mm -hmm. Forward, I guess oh, you say, it's yeah, fall. it's a fall salad for sure, and you know it once you, once you try it. <laughs> but um, I'm all right. I won't. I won't. I'll let you have this one. Okay, sounds good. That does taste like a fake a bit green flesh. All right. So, did you like it? Uh huh. You do? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Good. Actually, no. Not so much. Okay. Well, you probably forgot, huh? Yes. All right. We're gonna try the cheese next. So this is the uh, stripy, stripy Joe. Joe cheese, and there's like a bunch of different Ooh. cheeses in here. So I have a pair. What? Don't eat it. It's gonna make you gag. Yeah. Benson did not like the cheese. He had a severe reaction to it. So um, needless to say, he took one bite. I'm and scared no. now. <laughs> it's got to be a consistency thing. This uh -huh. is the softest cheese ever. Yeah. It's just like. Yeah, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Oh, bro, I know. <laughs> um, I don't have a problem with it though. You don't? No, it was it was very Why surprising. It? Well, I don't want more. <laughs> so you do have a problem with it? I mean, I don't Ugh. have a problem. Ugh. with it. Okay, you want some? Yeah, more? I'll take some. Uh, Cause this stuff's good. The cheese, I wouldn't go for again. I, I agree with Benson. It's a texture <laughs> thing. It's like, ugh. I'm sure there's something you can use with it, but to just eating it on its own was not, that's not pleasurable in any, <laughs> any imagination. So the texture is weird because it's very soft. Um, in fact, when I just lifted up my piece of cheese, it like broke in half. Mm -hmm. And so, um, the same with yours too. So, uh, the, the texture threw me off mm -hmm. right off the bat. I was like, oh, that's weird. Flavor was okay. Um, I wouldn't go for it again. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, it, it's like it's one of those textures that you could literally just push your tongue on the roof of your mouth and it'll just disintegrate. Yeah. Yeah. It's like almost like cotton candy. Not to that extreme, but like it really does just kind of dissolve in your mouth. And there's a lot of flavors going on, but I, I don't know. I couldn't get past the texture thing. So I'm right there with Benson, even though I'm not, I, I guess I don't like mochi either. Stuff like that is just not my thing and apparently not Benson's either. So maybe it's a good melty cheese though. Like you could melt awesome. it like on a sandwich, like a grilled cheese and make like a tomato soup with a grilled cheese. That might be good because I think the flavor isn't bad. It's just getting past that texture, so. And there's three different cheeses in there. So maybe there's it's four. Four? Yeah, I'm so not sure. It might be one of them that's kind of yeah. ruining it for the whole thing. So I don't know. But together as a as a whole unit, it's not it's not worth. It's not passing it. the uh, test the, here. Not the Hespi test. At no. Least. Okay, we're gonna try the dip now. So this is the red pepper cranberry and walnut dip. So I thought I would pair it with these pumpkin tortilla chips. Now I know these are not my favorite chip, but I felt like the pairing of the two might be really good. So we're gonna try it with this dip and see how it goes because I feel like this would just be I don't know. I couldn't think of what else to pair it with. So I opened this and it smells pretty good. I almost think this could be a nice spread on a sandwich. Um, kind of like a caprese. I feel like this would be a good caprese addition. I know it has cranberry and that might be weird, but hey, a fall caprese, here we go. Cranberry and walnut. I like I like the, you know, the red pepper, mm -hmm. but we'll Dip. see. Wanna try it? This definitely has some sweetness to it. I was going to say, I taste the cranberry right away. Yeah. It does have a little spice kick too, actually, surprisingly. Yeah, it does. I didn't think it was going to be spicy because it's red pepper, which I assumed was roasted, but woo, it's actually creeping up on me. <laughs> it's kind of spicy. <laughs> You're doing all right? <laughs> yeah, isn't it? So you it is. That? It is a little bit spicy. It's like, wow, I was not expecting it to be this spicy, but it has good flavor. Uh, I like the cranberry. I actually enjoy the chips with this. I think yeah. it's a good combo. Yeah, I um, I'm not a fan of this dip. Oh really? Yeah, and it's not it's not its own fault. It's just that it tastes a lot more like cranberry than I would want it to because I don't want it to taste like cranberry at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, 
But if you like doing that, the cranberry with like savory, uh, this is another great one. Mm -hmm. I would I would prefer if I was at sitting down at a Thanksgiving dinner and they had like a cranberry sauce and they had that, I would definitely reach for this one. Yeah, me too. It's not a cranberry sauce though, so don't get that mistaken. This is definitely a dip, but I do think it would make a fantastic spread on the sandwich. Like I stand by that. And it really goes well with these chips. So if you like a little spice kick, and you like a little cranberry flavor. It's not a crazy cranberry overpowering. It's really subtle, but it's definitely there. And as far as the walnut goes, I don't really no, taste the walnut at, at all. all. I think maybe it's more of a, you know, underlying flavor, maybe thickener, things like that. But all said and done, I think this is a really good quality dip. Um, this just tastes like they put a lot of work into it and it's a good combo and it's a surprise. So. I give it two thumbs up. Next up, we're gonna try the last two items and we are just trying them with a spoon because I have no idea what to do with the pumpkin chipotle roasting sauce, nor do I know what to do with the organic maple vinaigrette dressing. So we have our little spoons here and we're just gonna dip it in and taste it as is and let you know our, our opinion on the flavor itself. Uh, and if you guys have any ideas in the comments of what we can use these on, please feel free, even if it's a meat item, because uh, during the holidays, I do cook for my whole family and I do cook meat. The only time of year, ugh, the uh. only time of year I cook meat is for Christmas for my family. So um, if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, Benson just got out of here because he's done with the taste test. He's bored. Wow. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. Um. I, I, both of these items going into them, I'm not really thrilled about. I find it to be very sweet. Um, a little bit of a, a like a, a zing in there, but nothing like spicy by any stretch of the imagination. Mm -hmm. Um, does it have a little bit of a, like that apple cider vinegar flavor to it? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. I thought it was, uh, and pumpkin too. yeah, I thought, like you said, sweet and tangy. I think sweet and tangy yeah. is the best way to describe this because it definitely has almost like a sweet and sour sauce feel to it and the chipotle makes it slightly smoky but it's not a chipotle that you have in a salsa where you're like yeah this is definitely a chipotle flavor it's not like that uh the first thing you taste is sweet then you get that tanginess and like tim said apple cider vinegar i could definitely see that in there too um interesting very interesting and it's literally like water you yeah. dip your spoon and it just slides right off so uh i don't know if you could reduce it and it would thicken up maybe that's the point of it i don't know but let us know in the comments once again what you would use it on uh i don't think i would buy it again the flavor is it's okay nothing mind-blowing or anything like that um, but i'm sure if you paired it with the right meal it might be amazing so now we're going on to the thing that I'm dreading the most. I just don't know what to feel about this one. So now we're trying the organic maple vinaigrette dressing. Again, I'm just gonna like barely dip my spoon. I'm afraid of this. I, I'm, I'm afraid as well. All right, I'm trying it. All right. <laughs> I taste maple syrup and then I taste vinaigrette. That's what I taste. Two completely separate flavors. Yeah. So I'm not a fan. Let's just get it out there. Uh, this definitely won't be purchased again. But I'm trying to think, what would, you, what would you pair this with? What would you use it with? And what I can come up with is like maybe like you have a salad that has fruit in it. Oh, okay. So yeah, like that's fair. apples in your salad, mm -hmm. maybe strawberries. And that way the sweetness kind of pairs with those, with the maple, and it can go together. Sweet but potatoes. Sweet potatoes, I guess. Um, but... I wouldn't think to pair maple and vinaigrette and I was thinking, hey, maybe they came up with some amazing combination that nobody's heard of. Yeah. Uh, but it tastes, tastes like maple and it tastes like vinaigrette. Yeah, I think you're spot on with the salad idea because I hadn't even thought about that and that's a really good idea. I probably wouldn't make it be a salad with lettuce though. It would be, have to be something different. Maybe spinach. I don't know. Something a little... I, I don't know, I just think putting maple on on lettuce seems weird. Now with the fruit and stuff, maybe some sweet potato, that maybe could work, definitely. But it is really bizarre because the second I tasted it, I felt like I was drinking syrup. And then all of a sudden I have like this tangy vinaigrette at the back end of my tongue and 
it kind of throws your brain off a bit because you're like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Um, but again, like maybe somebody's gonna come up with the most amazing salad, I know it, or come up with the most amazing idea, and this dressing is gonna be the star of the show. So um, initially, the reaction for me was just like, absolutely not, no way. Uh, but again, we're trying it straight up, so just take yeah. it for what it is, and this taste test is just to give you guys flavor profiles. Not to tell you if this is like, obviously we're telling you if it's good or not, but it's only our opinion, so don't take it for word. I'm just uh, giving you all that info now. Uh, but that's it for the video. I that's think we it. covered all the savory, and then we have to do the sweet. So stay yes. tuned for tomorrow's video, because we're going to try all the sweets, and it's a lot, a lot of sweets. So be ready for that one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.